friends so if you follow me on instagram or if you're looking at the title of this video then you know by now that we are pregnant with baby number two so let me see today is the 18th get out of my video oh my god yeah so today is what is today today is wednesday the 18th and we are on week 20 so that's what they're looking like right now Wait, week 20? Oh, that means I'm officially five months today. So yeah, I'll show you guys my belly right now. This is what I'm currently looking like. I don't really know what to say. I'm just super excited. Bella's gonna have a little sibling. Come here, Bella. Come say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Y'all, I literally just did her hair. How do you feel? How do you feel about having a new sibling? How do you feel about the baby? Baby? Mama. Want to baby kissy? Baby. Baby. Literally anytime I say baby, she kisses my belly. Okay, so pretty much my due date is April 6th, which is crazy because Bella's birthday is April 2nd, so they might be birthday twins. Two Aries babies. I told you guys to send me some questions on Instagram, and I got a few, so I'm gonna just go through them. I only got a few questions, so, and they're all kind of about the same thing. Someone said, do you want a boy or a girl? Which ones? Oh, do you want a boy or a girl? So that's one question. I already know the sex. I found out at like 10 weeks because I was super impatient. Honestly, I didn't really have a preference either way, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what I wanted or what I'm having because I want to surprise you and do another video like that because I didn't get to do like a gender reveal or anything with this pregnancy because I was just too impatient. Oh my gosh. And I'm recording on like a chair right now because I don't have my tripod with me. I like that, I'll knock it over. Someone said, which one was the better, pregnancy baby one or baby two? Definitely pregnancy one was a lot easier. This one, I feel like I'm just like, I feel way more pregnant. Like, I just feel way more pregnant. Like, I feel bigger. I feel like I'm growing way faster. I feel more tired. I feel more sore. I'm actually having back pain and like pelvic pain already. And that didn't start till like eight months with the last one with Belle. So it actually started around like four months for me, which was kind of scary. Because I literally have, well, I literally had like six months to go. So it's actually getting a little bit better though. I think I was just moving around and doing too much. But yeah, it was a lot easier with the first one, I think. Any weird cravings? Um, I would say no. I don't have any weird cravings. But whenever I was back at home, I was eating like a lot of pickles and jalapenos and olives. I still feel like I like that kind of stuff, just like salty, savory stuff. I know they say that, they can, that can predict a sex. I don't know if it was salt predicts a girl or sweet predicts a girl. I don't really remember. If y'all know, comment down below. And then two more people asked, is it another girl or do I know if it's a boy or a girl? So I don't want to tell y'all just yet because I want to save that for another video. How many months are you? So I told y'all that already, I'm five months. I just made 20 weeks. So we are officially five months pregnant, which is crazy. I feel like the time flew by so fast. Family's reaction, I think everyone was just like happy. They were kind of shocked because literally, I feel like it was so fast. Like, oh my God. Bea, your daddy gonna pop out of you? She's emptying out his wallet right now. Come here. Mom. Yeah, put that down. Oh, that's your daddy? Daddy. Boy. Look. But yeah, I feel like everyone was kind of happy, excited. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you want more babies? Um, yes, I do want more babies after this one. Maybe only one more though. I think two might be my limit. I might have to cap it at two, but three is definitely the limit. What's the best part of being pregnant? Last time I said it was the same. 
the best part about being pregnant, I think, is like feeling the baby kick. So I started feeling the baby kick at around like 16, 18 weeks or so. Probably 16 weeks. It was really early, y'all. Like maybe even 50 hard and I can feel it. What's the worst part about being pregnant? Just being, oh, the nausea. Yeah, nausea for sure. Even like I can deal with the back pain a little bit, but nausea, y'all, like the first few months I was just nauseous every day. I would literally be hungry, like super hungry, and I would eat a little bit and get nauseous. And then I would have to lay down and like calm, I calm down, but like make myself feel better. And then as soon as I would feel better, I would be starving again. And then I would eat and get nauseous all over again. So that was like the worst part of pregnancy. I actually had my doctor prescribe me some medicine because it was so bad. That's the worst part for sure. Names picked out. I do have name. I have a name picked out. So I already know what I'm going to name the baby. I'm not going to say you guys because it's been, I don't know. I just don't want to give it away too early. Who will be with you during labor? My boyfriend will be with me during labor. Obviously, we're in COVID times. So it's not like I can have a bunch of people. And plus, all of my family is in the US. So that's the only person that will be with me. Birth plan. I plan to get an epidural and have it in the hospital because that's how I had Bell and it was so easy like I do not plan on doing it natural or at home or any of that like props to y'all who do that but can't do it will you film it I will try to film it if they let me but whenever I had Bell I couldn't film in the delivery room we had to like sneak and get a little video natural or medicated definitely medicated because your girl is not doing a natural thing my mom had me natural and she like scarred me for life about doing it natural so not doing that are you scared of labor honestly no i'm not with bell she came super fast and it was a really quick and easy labor i didn't have really hardly any pain so yeah i'm not scared as long as i don't like go into labor at the house with no medication and have to push the baby out myself and have to do it at the house no i'm not scared at all like honestly what do you look forward to after pregnancy I look forward to like going on vacations and stuff because right now with COVID, we can't go anywhere anyway. But two is like, you can't really go anywhere when you're pregnant anyway either. Well, you can, but like you can't like go out and stuff. So that's what I look forward to. I look forward to like going, going on a vacation and going out. Do you plan to breastfeed for sure? I probably won't go as long as I did with Belle because I went for like a year with Belle. But at least like three to six months for sure. But I might go longer. I don't know. How is it being pregnant during COVID? Being pregnant during COVID, I feel it's like less stressful on me. In the part of lockdown that we're in right now, I feel like if I would have gotten pregnant in the beginning, I would have been super scared. But it's honestly not bad. I don't have anything much to say. Like, I'm kind of happy that we can't go out because then I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I can't go out and do anything. Like drinking or anything anyway so i'm a-okay with that what was it like traveling with a toddler and being pregnant honestly it wasn't too bad the first time i flew out here with bell last year or no actually the first time i flew pregnant out here it was a lot more stressful than what it is now with bell because i was flying and i had two different airlines and it was just like very stressful to have to move my bags and i was just having like panic attacks and my flight like got delayed and then the next one got canceled so i had to stay a night in washington and get a hotel and i was just stressed out but this time we flew all the way with delta we didn't have any issues and our flights got picked up the layover was like an hour and a half hey hey don't shake okay the layover was like an hour and a half it just wasn't bad at all like it was super easy here he comes but yeah it wasn't hard like at all so if you do fly overseas, definitely make sure that your flights are within the same airline. So y'all know that I just came out with this a few months ago and I actually am using it on my belly. I actually have been using it since the beginning of my pregnancy and y'all just didn't know because I didn't tell you. But that's how much I've used so far. It's like one third. But yeah, let me show you how to use it. Cause I feel like I wasn't able to give a good demo before. But you pretty much just take something like that Rub it on your 
does Bella feel about becoming a big sibling? Oh, let me turn my belly up because I'm like super crazy now. But yeah, how does Bella feel about becoming a big sibling or big sister? She, I think that she's excited. I don't know. Like Bella's only one and a half, but I do think that she does know. Whenever Bella's around like babies or puppies or anything like little, she literally loves them. So I think that she'll be a good big sister. And she honestly helps me like with little things like cleaning up her toys and like just doing little things like that. So I think that she'll be a big help. I'm not sure. She'll only be two whenever the baby's born, like exactly two. So I'm not sure like how developed she'll be by then, but I think that she's excited. And I'm excited for her to have a little sibling. They're gonna have the same birth sign. Not that, I don't know if that really makes like a big difference. I feel like Bella does definitely fit like the personality that it says of an Aries. So I don't know, we'll see how the next one comes out. Yeah, and I plan on doing like one of those gender prediction videos. Even though I already know, I just wanna see like if what is in the gender prediction is actually true, right? And then I'll do, I'll do that. And then I think in that video, I'll reveal the gender to y'all too. So if you think you know what the gender is, comment down below. I wanna see you guys as a guest. And if you get it right, then I may do something special for you on that video whenever I do announce what the gender is. But other than that, I think that I pretty much answer all the questions. Um, I'm super excited to be having another baby. Oh, someone also asked, like, how did you find out? So I actually found out at the doctor. That's a whole story. If y'all want a full story about how I found out that I was pregnant, then comment down below and let me know. Because if no one wants to see it, then I won't do it. But it's a funny little story time. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in my next video. I do have a bunch of things planned and I do plan on participating in Vlogmas this year. So I don't want to like, I probably will cut that out of this video because I don't know if I want to commit to that just yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. And yeah, I'm happy that I was able to surprise you guys on my Instagram with this news. And we're super excited. And I'm happy that I get to bring you guys along the journey. And all the mommies out there get to see me grow. And we can just help each other. So if you have any questions about anything, then just DM me or comment or whatever. Do what you want to do. Let me know. And yeah, I'm going to just keep y'all updated as I go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my